unit, shut the water off completely, I use these stop locks. I put some of these at the front and at the back, shut the water off completely. Wow. And in case there's any cracks here, I take cracked corn, drop it down. Corn, when it gets wet, it swells up. So you drop the corn down, the river pushes the corn in, it swells up, plugs all the leaks. Then I pump all the water out, and then I can go inside and do what work I need to do inside the tube. Because I'm on the river, I get line build up inside that tube. So every spring, after the ice is gone out, we shut the unit, one unit down at a time, put the stop logs in, go in to blow the lime off, do any other maintenance that we need to do on the units, then start that unit back up, do the maintenance on the other one, and then other than that, Hopefully they continue running 24-7 until next spring. When you look here, this slot here, that's where the stop locks are. I never thought about that, but yeah. that's what they built. This and then, the City of Rock Falls, we have three substations. We have one over here at Avenue A, has that black wrought iron fence around it. We have one over by Centennial Park. And we got one out at 14th Avenue South as you go down to town. Um, any two of the substations can supply the entire city. So even if I lose one substation, I can still supply the other, the rest of the city off two substations. Um, at the Avenue A substation, and at the 14th Avenue substation, I got two emergency diesel generators at both of those. I got five diesel generators at our main office in the generator building next to that. With our current summer peak, we can supply the entire city of Rock Falls with our emergency diesel generator. We also have small solar panels on top of our main roof. On a nice sunshiny day like today, that gives me about 15 kW, but it's better than nothing. Um, this spring, we just passed, it just went past 1 million kilowatt hours of electricity that our solar panels have generated for us. So it you know, all adds up. Um, let's see what else. Any questions? All right, well, we'll walk back through. So do we get any electricity off of ComEd then at all? Well, actually, we don't. ComEd transfers the electricity to us. Um, Rock Falls, that's what I forgot. Rock Falls, along with about 30 some other cities that have their own electric system, we're together as an association called the Illinois Municipal Electric Association, and we've bought parts of different power plants, nuclear plants, coal plants, wind farms, whatever. So that's where our electricity comes from. What we're paying ComEd for is the transportation of the electricity from that plant to each one of these cities. Yes, I, got, I have a cousin that he just retired out of Byron, and he's always told me, he goes, you think this stupid little deal here on the river is powering your town, he goes, you're nuts. <laughs> well, this supplies, like I said, every 10 days, this is supplying our town, basically. Now Byron, yep, that's a huge nuclear plant, but you know, I don't know if Byron's one of the one, I don't think Byron's one of the ones we own a piece of, but we own a piece of various power plants as an association. Well, I was just curious, but you know, yeah. that's what he's always told me. He goes, you think that little... Well, Byron <laughs> supplies enough electricity that we wouldn't even be a blip. It's like this morning I was using about 7.2 megawatts of power. For Byron, that would be nothing. So, I mean, you know, it doesn't, you know, we're a small city, right. it doesn't take a lot of electricity. Um, you know, so I mean, basically, if I had a hydro plant, if I had nine more hydros like this, I could supply the entire city. Which would be a much smaller footprint than Byron. Because we just don't use that much power. Okay? Um, you know, Byron is, you know, Long, long ago, far, far away, I worked at a nuclear power plant. It wasn't by right now. I've worked nuclear before, so. So on hot days, does this work more when everybody uses air conditioners? Well, like this is going to put out constant. Out. A hydro, it puts out constant. constant. So it doesn't really matter. Though. Yeah. Now, on a really hot day, because the price of electricity, if there's a lot of demand, the price of electricity goes up. Well, that's when we'll actually turn on our diesel generators. Okay? It means how we're part of the association, 
the association actually will pay us to start our diesel generators up so that they don't have to buy it off the open market. And you know, on those days that we gen turn the diesel generators on and we're supplying Rock Falls with electricity, they're actually paying for the fuel. And that in a little bit more, it pretty much, it doesn't cost us anything to generate that electricity. That They're paying enough for us to do that so they don't have to buy it off the open market on those peak days. I was just curious, you know, everybody yep. says, you know, on those hot days you're supposed to do certain things at a certain well, time, you know. And yeah, well, I say, well that, that helps, but I mean, as far as what we need to have, because like over the past, you know, seven, eight years, our summer peak has gone down as people have gotten more efficient stuff. You know, so as people update their air conditioning units, people have gone away from incandescent bulbs, all of those things add up. Our peak has gone down. So our summer peak has gone down from what it used to be years ago. <laughs> well, yeah. So, okay. okay. Anything else? No. Nope. All right. Then I'll, we'll stroll out, and if you have any more questions, then we'll answer them. I can do it for you.